What's up, cutie? <laughs> this is some a new setting. Welcome to our channel, and mm -hmm. if you guys watch our DTV, you guys know that we love visiting different types of cafe in Korea. Mm -hmm. The cafes in Korea is just completely next level in terms of the interior design, the atmosphere, and of course the presentation of their coffees. So we have never been a coffee person back in LA, mm -hmm. but since today we came to Korea, it's really impossible to ignore all these amazing cafes in Korea. Literally every two to three blocks, there's a coffee, coffee. shop. So based on the direct message that we get from our cuties, it seems like a lot of our cuties are visiting Korea during their winter vacation and they want us to suggest some good cafes that they can visit when they come to Seoul. So based on many cafes that we have went so far, we decided to organize three top cafes based on pink and unicorn aesthetics, three top cafes with the minimalistic and marble aesthetics, top three cafes that has earthy and green aesthetic, and lastly, top three cafes that has very unique and unusual theme. I'm so excited! <laughs> By the way guys, you guys remember we introduced this brand called Healing Bird during mm -hmm. our first Korean speaking vlog? Well, they were very kind enough to provide this blueberry vanilla essential hair mist yes. and iris and white musk rolling perfume. Yeah, these are our favorite scents. Yeah. Particularly asked them to hand out these to our cuties. Yeah, to six lucky winners as a New Year's gift. <laughs> All the details about the giveaway and some more introduction of their products will be at the end of the video. So make sure to stick around with us till the end. And enough with the chit chat and let's get this baby started. So let's first talk about the top three pink and unicorn aesthetic cafes. First cafe we will recommend is definitely the Stand on the Pink Pool Cafe mm -hmm. that they recently opened in Hongdae. And when we went there, it instantly reminded us of the Sketch Cafe in London. Mm -hmm. Everything from the couch, the ceiling, the wall, and even the washrooms are pink. Yeah. It's called Pink Pool Cafe because they literally have a pool at the middle of the cafe. Yeah. And they have so many like pretty and cute desserts. There was an iced Americano. Yeah. It was super Super good. It had this like creamy foam, foam on, on the top, top yeah. and it was the most soft, mm, creamy it's texture. Like they had a milk inside. Yeah, but it's not. Best iced Americana we ever had in our life. Yeah, it's like a best hands one. down best one of 2017. Yeah. But first, let's talk about the pros. First, it's definitely an Instagram picture worthy place. Every corner is worth taking a photo. And if you go there, you'll notice that all the customers are busy taking selfies. Yeah. And you will be <coughs> one of them too when you go there. Yeah. We were like that too. <laughs> take me photo, take me photo, take me photo, 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 photo. Okay, second, they have a fashion store right downstairs. Yeah, downstairs. And it's called Style Nanda. I'm pretty sure a lot of you cuties know it. But after you have a drink, you can go downstairs and shop some of the most unique and hip and mainstream fashion items. Yeah, they have some of the cool items. Yeah. And actually, Stananda is one of our top favorite mm -hmm. online stores in Korea. Now, let's talk about the con. First, the tables are so close together yeah. that there's like literally no, no privacy, privacy, especially on the um, main table area. Yeah. But if you go to the poolside area, mm -hmm. it's very spacious. Yeah. Second, because it's a fairly new cafe mm -hmm. that just recently opened to the public, mm -hmm. it gets packed really fast. So you might either have to visit really early or really late. Mm -hmm. They open at 11 a.m. and close at 11 p.m. Last time we went there at 6 p.m. and it was fully packed there was no way we can film there so we went back home and went the other day and mm -hmm. that day we arrived exactly at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. and there was only handful of customers so yeah. best time to take selfie yeah ha ha <laughs> <Are you kidding? laughs> so the second cafe that we would like to recommend is FNC Wow Cafe. Mm -hmm. This cafe is located in Myeongdong and is one of the hottest cafe in Myeongdong yeah. because it is owned by the FNC Entertainment, that is agency for K-pop artists, celebrities like Yuja Seok, um, FG Island, CM Blue, AOA, and Flying, and so many more. But it's a bit tricky finding this place because yeah. it's located at the fourth floor of this big gray building. building. So make sure to keep an eye on this huge blue boot. Sign something yeah. that kind of looks like the four sign, the four logo. Yeah, four logo. But just keep an eye on that and you'll find your way. Yeah. By far, out of all the entertainment cafes that we have went so far, we believe this is the most unique cafe because mm -hmm. right at the entrance of the cafe, you will see the salon themed picture zone, mm -hmm. and also there are some seats that mimics makeup table. So here are the pros. First, when you order the coffee, the cashier randomly draws these cards of the K-pop idols with their signature and little notes and their um, profile pictures. Yeah. The fans actually roam around the tables and trying to exchange cards with people who have their favorite K-pop idols. And we actually had a one incident where this girl actually reached out to us yeah. looking for the Sung Hyup's card from n We gave it to her mm -hmm. and I think it was like a thank you gesture. She gave us um, Haribu gummy beer, gummy beer. That as was a thank so you. Cute. 
Yeah. The second pro is that there are many photo zones that are meant to take photos so you don't have to feel awkward or anything when mm -hmm. taking those photos. And their coffee taste was just right. Yeah. It wasn't bitter at all. It was right. right at the spot. Hitting right in that spot. <laughs> So now let's talk about the con. This place also gets packed really fast. Mm -hmm. When we went there, there was literally one seat left, mm -hmm. so I literally had to run to get that seat. My seat. That's scary, man. <laughs> really? So the last cafe that we're gonna recommend is called Melting Palm, and I think this is one of the most unicorn-themed cafe that we have ever been to. If you love unicorns and rainbow, you have to check this place out. They literally have a unicorn Toast. I mean, a rainbow toast. Oh, yeah, rainbow toast. They not only have tables, and they actually have a bed as well, Yum. so you can like enjoy your coffee and desserts there. And we've actually seen like several couples mingling and smooching there, doing some inappropriate stuff. Yeah, so just heads, heads up. up. <laughs> and they also have a puppy there, and I think it's owned by the, the owner. owner of the yeah. cafe. And she or he is Super freaking cute. cute. It was very interesting because compared to other cafes, this cafe actually makes you take off your shoes, put your shoes in the locker yeah. and wear a slipper that is provided by the cafe. So now let's talk about the pros. So there are many corner to take ritual photos again here and if you are really passionate about unicorn and rainbows this is definitely a great place to hang out with friends. And another thing is that when you order a coffee they have this oh, little yeah. um, discount cardboard yeah. where you can drop the cards and get an immediate discount. discount. So let's talk about the con. Cafe is generally very quiet so mm -hmm. everyone who hangs out there were literally whispering to each other. Yeah. Another thing is that there weren't many tables compared mm. to the size of the cafe. I yeah. think they can utilize the space and create more tables, tables for people to see. And lastly, we did not really enjoy their ice Americano. Yeah. Maybe it's a personal tasting, but for us, we really did not enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Our coffee was very diluted for some reason. Mm -hmm. And at one point, I had to go to the front and ask for more ice because our ice Americano was lukewarm. And that day, it was, it was super hot. It was a super hot summer. Yeah. We want a cold ice. Americano. But it was already diluted, but yeah. we still asked for ice. ice. Oh, and one more con is that you guys have to walk a little bit from right, the right. exit of the subway station to get to the cafe because it's a little bit far. Mm -hmm. Well, so now let's talk about the top three minimalistic and marble aesthetic cafes. The first cafe that we want to recommend is called Mula. If you like anything that has to do with clean, white, spacious, marble aesthetic, this cafe is a must cafe that you guys have to check it out. It's located at Karosuke and they are also very well known for their tiramisu. They also have a second floor, but that floor is outdoor area, yeah. so you obviously can't sit there during the winter. Yeah. But let's talk about the pros. First, again, it's a very great place to take ritual photos. Mm -hmm. They generally the interior is very wide and open so they have this awesome natural lining to take good selfies and they have some of the most unique and architectural furniture I don't mm. know where they get it from but it's definitely one of the future living room furniture goal yeah. I'll definitely love to have those furniture probably in our future cafe yeah mm. So some of the cons are that the washroom is very small and they have only Freaking one tiny. stool. So there was one point where we both had to pee so bad mm -hmm. but we had to wait for a very long time mm -hmm. and it was very painful. So the second cafe that we like to recommend is a Little. lead art cafe which is located at the Wonnam Dong. This place is very well known for their unique light bulb called CMYK light bulb. And this light bulb is basically, it creates a color shadow. So the cafe is very artsy. When you go in there, there is literally a space that is dedicated for displaying this CMYK and like a light bulb mm -hmm. so it kind of felt like a cafe slash art gallery they also sell unique stationary items and yeah. they also have tables at the second floor so let's talk about the pro oh. not many people seem to know this cafe mm -hmm. so there weren't many customers there when we went to second floor we were the only one there we fell in love with their presentation especially their coffee tray yeah. it looked like it was something out of a space very futuristic yeah. and generally you can get really good ritual photos there so some of the cons are that there are limited amount of tables I think at the first floor there there was like two to three tables yeah. and five more at the upstairs but when we went there there weren't many people so we had the entire second floor to ourselves Okay, so the last cafe that we would love to recommend is heaven on top and it's yeah. actually the cafe that we're right now Last time we were sitting on the next room which was pink but today we felt like blue, blue. so we're on the blue room. So it's located at the Kimpo airport station uh -huh. and this place sells one of the most gorgeous looking desserts. It has an amazing chandelier with marbles and gold rims. Their furniture are like to die for with yeah. these amazing pastel gorgeous colors. So one of the pros is that they have really a lot of tables yeah. and one thing we really like about this place is that they have three private rooms mm -hmm. with the curtains. The second obviously 
you can take some great ritual photos here, mm -hmm. especially at the stairs. Yeah. Another one is that they really did a great job with their color choices. Mm -hmm. Each section have their own color scheme like pastel blue, pastel pink, and pastel, pastel green. green. So let's talk about the con. This place also gets packed really fast, mm -hmm. especially during the lunch hour. So it's better to either come in really early or really late. This place opened at 10.30 a.m. and today we arrived here at 11 a.m. Yeah. And so far it's pretty quiet here so we like it. Last time when we came here we had to wait for over an hour to get yeah. into this private room. The last con is that it's a little bit far from the main area of the Seoul. It took us about like an hour and 30, 30 minutes. minutes to get here. So now let's talk about top three green and earthy cafes. And the first cafe that we want to recommend is called Shimul Hak, which is located at Kadosuki. And it basically means a botany. Mm -hmm. And once you get to the cafe, you will understand why they call it in such way. Because it really looks like some kind of plant laboratory. It is filled with greens and the barista and cashiers are actually wearing a white laboratory gown. And the floor and the tables are all made out of brown wood. But even the door to the washroom, it looks like, you know those um, silver rooms? in the laboratory where you have to open with your handle like yeah. this and when you open handle. it there's like these important chemicals and beakers all around yeah. that's how it looked like but interesting. Really interesting now let's talk about pros i really enjoyed their coffee and this is actually was our first time learning about long black and a lot of our cuties from australia said you guys actually call ice americana long black there yeah. and it was a little bit bitter but i really enjoyed the taste also it's a very great place to take ritual photos mm -hmm. and we felt like the coffee really pulled off laboratory slash butt meeting very well yeah. so for the con there were some round tables where two or three customers can sit but the main table was this huge rectangular table at the middle of the cafe where everyone had to kind of face each other instead yeah. so it kind of lacked privacy they also have some seats outside and at the main entrance but i'm pretty sure that place is going to be cold during the winter yeah. the second cafe that we like to recommend is called ariate yep. which is located at the home day if you're a fan of flowers or dried flowers you guys must check this place out. I believe they have it until third floor but you have to first order it from the first floor and then bring it up to the second and the third floor by yourself. The place is filled with floral scent. It's a very feminine and dreamy cafe. Oh, it's very dreamy. There's tons of flowers. Yeah. Tons. If you like flowers, you have to go there. But if you don't like floral scent, I don't recommend yeah. that. Okay, now let's talk about the pros. You really love the way how they decorated the interior. Like on the ceiling, there were tons of these flowers hanging down from the ceilings. Mm -hmm. And every corner is Instagram photo worthy place. They also hand out dried flowers to customers who order coffee, which I believe it's a great marketing tactics and customer service yeah. because how many times in life do you get to receive flowers from, from strangers, strangers, right? I still remember I got the yellow flower and she got the purple flower. Yeah. Where is it though? It's dead. It's like from last year. We also really loved how they presented the coffee. Yeah. The coffee came in this wooden tray mm -hmm. and there was this little tiny vase with a flower on top mm -hmm. and it was so cute. Okay, so for the cons, we went there during really hot summer and for some reason, the third floor was really humid mm -hmm. so everyone were forced to sit on the second floor. I don't know if it was just during that summer, maybe it will be different this summer. Other than that, I don't think there was any cons. So the last cafe that we would love to recommend is called Lucia's Backyard. And this cafe is located at our parent city called Gongju mm -hmm. and this has to be one of the most earthy cafe because it is literally located at a backyard. And the cafe is inspired by the Korean traditional houses called Hanok. They have tables where you can sit on a chair as well as tables where you can sit on the floor. It's owned by these two elderly couples so yeah. it has a very nostalgic touch to the cafe. Yeah. For example, they have these old sewing machine, old record player mm -hmm. machine, old photos and old coffee, coffee cups. Very nice. For the pros, the customer service was 5 out of 5. We got the 3 handmade chocolate and dried persimmon as a complimentary and they were super delicious. And the cafe is located at this hidden place so I don't think many people know about this place. Yeah. So we really enjoyed our privacy. They also have this like outdoor cave area where uh -huh. you can ride on the wall using a chalk. And I believe we wrote QQ was here. So one of the cons is that it was definitely quite pricey but mm. I think it's a great once in a life experience. And also you can definitely not get get there using a subway mm. station so maybe a taxi but definitely never bring a car because it's really a struggle finding a good parking, parking space yeah. so lastly let's talk about the top three interesting cafe with unique theme and the first cafe that we would love to introduce to you guys is called a dessert laboratory that is located at Hongdae come to think of it we're not quite sure why they call it a laboratory because there weren't specific things that stood out to be a laboratory but one thing for sure is that they are very well known for their cute looking dessert maybe that's why they call 
laboratory dessert. Yeah. Also, we really liked the color scheme of the cafe. Yeah. The cafe was generally all like pinkish and purple-ish. They also have like a huge neon light on, yeah, the, wall. on the wall. Yeah, that was really pretty. So let's talk about pros. First, they generally have a lot of tables, but maybe because we went during when the cafe was really hype, we had a quite hard time finding a good table. And you can definitely take a lot of great ritual photos there, but yeah. we recommend taking it outside rather than indoor because yeah. indoor has quite, lighting is quite dark. Yeah. For the cons, it was quite crowded. It, it almost felt like they were trying to put as many seats as possible in that small space. So we actually couldn't really listen to our conversation. I think it was the first time we had our gel nails done at the tropical nail. Oh yes, right. yes. <gasps> of my good memory skill. Okay. The second hotel that we would like to recommend is called Dorosin Hotel, yep. which is located at Gangnam. And I like its name. The theme of the cafe is a hotel. We especially love the phrase that was written in the cafe window yeah. saying, "Don't trust." that bitch in room number three something something so if you go in they have this photo zone area which look literally like a hotel room with a bed and a laundry yeah, and, and they had a pink reason, gun there yeah, too they had a pink gun and for us we sat next to this little lamp that had a red light and surprisingly we took a really good photo despite yeah. it was a red lighting okay let's talk about pros they have one of the most unique washrooms that kind of looks like a disco ball one of the wall is decorated with tons of toilet paper holders yeah. And the cause is that the tables were quite close to each other yeah. so there was a lack of privacy but that's all. So the last cafe that we would love to recommend is called Dore Dore that is located at Karosuki and I think this is where all the cafe adventures started because this is one of the cafes that really blew our mind. Yeah. So each floor has their own color scheme. They yep. have this burgundy room, blue room, pink yep. room and etc. Yeah. And this cafe is also very well known for their rainbow, rainbow cake. cake. So for the pros they have many seats it's very spacious it's really a great place to take ritual photos mm -hmm. we even went there just to take our um, meal photos. photos for cons we can't really think of any cons because it was just perfect yeah. so that's the end of our cafe review for 2017 mm -hmm. and there's definitely gonna be a more amazing cafe that we're gonna review on 2018 mm -hmm. so stay tuned for that <laughs> and as promised here are the giveaways so healing birds sent us this gift and we just had to show you guys this presentation because yeah. It's amazing. amazing. So first of all, she broke this part so yeah. but originally you have to like like this mm -hmm. um, um, open it then open it. Oh, is this oh, OMG. Look at this freaking presentation. So Healing Bird is hair and body and perfume brand. Mm -hmm. Traveling size, shampoo, shampoo, conditioner, and the rolling perfume that we introduced a long time ago. They have a uh, body lotion and body wash. And if you guys want to know some detail about these products, we'll put the link right over here. Yeah, because we did a detailed review about these products. I think the famous scent here in Healing Bird right now is floral scent, right? Yeah, the Freesia and Green Bouquet, which is the scent that our mom actually likes. It has a really strong floral scent. But for us, we like this one better. Iris and White Musk, which is the one that we're gonna do the giveaway. We also have this um, body lotion that turns into oil. Yeah, that's made the of, one that we use. Yeah, it's made of the avocado or something. I really like that one. Yeah, that one we have been using since they sent to us. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, guys. So the six lucky winners will first receive this blueberry and vanilla scented hair mist and this iris and white musk perfume roller. Yeah. And these are our favorite scents. Mm. I love this. This smells so sweet. Every time I finish um, ironing my hair, I always spray this on my hair as a mist and also as a perfume. And I actually perfume all over my body, yeah. to be honest. And also, I always do this and this. It has a little spicy smell too, right? I love the white musk. Yeah. So the rules to give away are first, you have to be our subscriber yes. and second follow our Instagram account as well as the healing bird Instagram account third comment your YouTube ID and tag your BFF on this, this photo, photo on our Instagram, Instagram account. account this one and lastly, fourth, under this video, at the comment section below, comment your Instagram ID and tell us uh, which country you are residing as well as what product from the Healing Bird that you guys want to try it out. And the reason why we want to know where you're residing right now is because Healing Bird specifically asked us to choose three winners from worldwide and three winners who are residing in Korea. Mm -hmm. So that's why. So we got to know where you are living right now, located. Thank you, Healing Bird. Thank you so much for providing this amazing giveaway for our cutie. Yes. I was so excited. So we'll announce the six winners at our Instagram account at this date.
So hopefully you guys enjoyed our video today and hopefully it was informative and good luck with the giveaway and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye!